return to the Squishy Bear's rainbow of enchanted fun minute. What is it with you people? Look at me! I'm in quicksand here! What about me? What about my needs? Will you please look at me? Someone! Who are you people? What made you? Just in forest fairies, it sure is a beautiful day for a bike ride. It sure is! All the way to Professor Wiggly's house. Will you stop with the ringing? My head is splitting. What are we doing? The professor lives a million kilometers away. Why must we take the bike? I'm getting chafed. Oh, come on, Pierre. Professor Wiggly volunteered to connect the brakes on our new bike. For free. Put on the brakes? What's the best deal you mean, put on the brakes? Yeah, remember, Pierre? This bike was 20% cheaper without the brakes attached. I got them right here. I got them right here? Got them right here? Fools! Don't you know what this means? No. no. It means pain. The terrible, hurting, unrelenting pain. Look for yourselves. Thank goodness that ride was turning my stomach. Well, at least the worst is over. Oh, no, it's not. Look. Oh, no! It's the bad giant who thinks bears might taste good! We interrupt the Squishy Bears to bring you a special report! Mayhem in Metropolis! Good morning, this is Danita Mellon sitting in for Clive Butburn, who was just carried off by dingoes! Oh, no, no, no! Sources reveal that a pink, bloated body has washed up on the shores of Metropolis Beach. I did not wash up. I was just sunbathed. And now get out of my sun! Oh, sorry, ma'am. Oops, I didn't realize. Uh, my mistake. Huh? Oh, no! This is terrible! Terrible, ma'am? What is it, ma'am? What's wrong? How can we help you? I'm out of suntan lotion! Oh, woe is me! I'm out of suntan lotion! Oh, my! I will age prematurely! Who will save me? Who? Oh. Ah! Annabelle's in trouble! Don't worry, Annabelle, I'm coming! <laughs> turkey, hey, Turkey! <laughs> turkey, Annabelle's in trouble, she needs us! We gotta get her this suntan lotion before she bakes! Who <laughs> oh, yeah, Turkey, is this what you've been working on all these years? <laughs> Well, I was not aware. Come on, let's go! <laughs> oh, right. Oh, wants to become of my... Excuse me, pardon us. Here, Annabelle, here's the sunblock so that you may resume enjoying the glories of the beach. My hero. Yay! Well, that's that, ma'am. No story here. It's over. It's just a Christmas miracle to see you two get along. I always knew you'd make a great team. We sure do, Annabelle. When I told Sharky you were in trouble, he'd invite me once the whole way over here. We drove in his car. It's really neat and cool. And when you're in it, you feel like you have altitude. <coughs> oh, I mean attitude. <coughs> no, thank you, Sharky, darling. I'll pass on a ride home just yet. I've still got a whole other side to tan. You two go out and mail bond. Celebrate your maleness. So your wild goats. Go on, Sharky. You take good care of my beloved Eek, or I'm not taking you to the Patriotic Warriors on Sunday. Is that clear? <laughs> Come get me in an hour. Now run along, boys. Wow, this would be great, Sharky. You and me. Let's go find a place that sells oats so we can sell them. <laughs> Come out with a good so 
joking. Gee, I wonder how you get service around here. Hey, Sharky, it says to stay in the car. The order on those little boxes there, isn't that neat? Boy, now that's service. Hey, Elmo, Incredible Elmo, what are you doing here? Well, to be honest, I just wanted to be in this show. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. In the glove box? Right here? Sure, I'll get it for you. What are you gonna do with that tool, Sharky, huh? Fix something? Hey, Sharky, Chinese fire drill. Hey, Sharky, you forgot somebody. Thanks for coming back. Hey, Sharky, look. It's the bad rats. Let him have it, boy. I think we've just been moved. Hello. You guys sure do have attitude. That's us. Attitude with a capital M. We're male bonding and out uh, mowing our wild goats. We're just killing time till my girlfriend Annabelle's finished sunny. This is Annabelle. Isn't she a beauty? Yeah, she's really, uh, fat. Really? <laughs> oh, well. I guess all the cool ones are taken. Nothing left but gigs. An elks. Hi, girls! Would you like to come over and see my etchings? Sharky. Hey! Look! The force of our little mishap popped out your car key. Neat keychain. <laughs> Kumbaya! An official platinum the Patriotic Warrior 3D keychain. This is really neat. And if you hold it just right and bend it slightly, she looks a little like the singer formerly known as Prince. <laughs> this platinum sure does make you howl, doesn't she, Sharky? <laughs> Neat. Sounds like there's a train around here somewhere. No, nothing out there. Maybe it was a coyote or something. Say, wouldn't that be neat to see a wild coyote? Ah! <laughs> Call me crazy, but did you ever think to push this little button? It's called the on switch, dearest. It's really very simple. Yeah, just. Please, Dr. 
us, Deggy. Explain how shooting us into space will help rid dinosaur society of the mankind scourge. The humans elude you at every turn. They're so hard to find, you'd almost believe they vanished. But I know they are out there. You will orbit the Earth in your spacecraft and carefully monitor the X-Zone for any human activity. From up there, those little mankind's got nowhere to hide. Exactly, Mr. Cutter. Your spaceship is equipped with the latest pinpoint accurate photon laser gun. Use it, gentle souls, with extreme prejudice. Hey, now, wait a minute, Dr. Steggy. I mean, I'll help annihilate the entire human race. I got no problem with that. But I will never be prejudiced against anyone. That would be wrong. He just means use the laser a lot, squad. Blow up a lot of things. Oh, right. Okay. Blast them all! Let the archaeologists sort them out! Ah, ow, get them off! Get them off! Thanks again, Babs. It sure was nice of you to trade our year's supply of food for your magic twig that makes wishes come true. Glad to help, Scooter. Just remember, use the magic twig wisely. My own magic twig! I wish Bill were here to see this. Hurting when stop. All the hurting's just about to stop, Bill. It works. My magic twig works. I wished you were here, and here you are. And where did you get this, this magic twig? From Babs. She's so nice. She traded it to me for our entire food supply. Are we lucky or what? <laughs> Scooter, you doofus! She tricked you! This isn't any magic twig, you trilobite! If this were a magic twig, the first thing I would wish is that you are gone! Hey! Ah! Magic twig works! Really works! Must find it! on the launch pad, sir. All systems are go for launch. Oh, had a little oil leak, sir. Oh, and uh, we're having trouble opening the main hatch. Though we lock the keys inside. Oh, no problem. Help me with this, will you? Oh, man. I think I've got origami poisoning. What a perfect hiding place, so putrefied one. Yes, Ben. Our evil plan to stow away and then overtake the Thunder Lizard ship so we may confiscate the terrible laser to use on Jurassic City is proceeding nicely. Yes, Your Wretchedness. We have boarded the space vessel completely undertaken. Can I get you stowaways anything before liftoff? Coffee, tea, milk? Uh, no thank you. Uh, we're fine. Maybe later. <laughs> Systems are go. Hey! You, yes, yes, sir, Doc. Whatever, whatever you, you say, say Doc. Doc. We're, We're ready, ready to wake, Mommy. I mean, I mean Doc. Doc. We are in orbit over the X Zone. It is time to set up the terrible laser. Squad, dispose of this for me, please. Sure. <laughs> Pretty fancy for a trash can, guys. It's not a trash can, Squad. It's an atom smasher. This thing breaks down the molecular base of the trash so it's converted into its most compact and disposable state. Watch. Huh. Very interesting. So true trash molecules, when broken down, look very similar to our Thugosaur foes. We always do Thugosaurs with garbage to the core, Squat. Come on, let's help Doc set up the laser. I can't feel without your violin. It appears something's wrong, just as I feared. Our targeting radio transmitter was apparently damaged during launch. One of us will have to risk his very life and take a spacewalk to repair the damage. We'll need a volunteer. Oh! Oh, come on, you guys! I'm afraid of heights! <laughs> Just repair the transmitter and we'll let you back in. Oh, man! My magic twig! Magic twig! My magic twig! Oh, now nothing can ever hurt me again! Ah! Oh, that's better. Ah! 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 Curse this, I'm alive!
explosion thing! Okay, Doc, try it now. Look at that pathetic little excuse for a genetic nightmare, Doc. Let me blast them. Can I, Doc? Huh? No, Cutter. I think it would only be fair to let Squad have the honors. You're right, Doc. I'll go let him in. Doc, what do you make of this crazy thing? It's as if the hatch has been sabotaging. Ridiculous, Cutter. Who would do such a thing? Who oh, indeed? Magic twig, you're going to make it all better. Uh, but first, I'm freezing. I'm freezing. Must make a fire. Help, Babs, do this. I'm sure she said if you rub two ticks together, it makes fire. I'm afraid your laser is pointed in the wrong direction, Thunder Lizards. We think it should be pointed at Jurassic City. Well then, Bone Boys, let me help you point it in the right way. <laughs> Swing your partner. And do si -do, Doc! <laughs> Whoa! Something tells me that wasn't a good thing. Oh, I'm just gonna freeze to death. Why? Why? Why is life so hard? I wish I could just have a fire and not have to work for it. <laughs> It worked again. My wish came true! Danger, danger, William Robinson! Who was William Robinson? Doc, the bone baddies have sealed up in the escape pod! Don't worry, Kata. I can reprogram the escape pod's vector from here. You work on sealing that blast so that we may restabilize the ship. You got it, Doc! Entry. It's going to be a little rougher than usual. Okay, Doc. I just wish there was some way we could get that outside hatch open. Squat, are you okay out there? You know what they say, Doc. When life gives you lemons, you have your cake and eat it too. Or something. Yahoo! Oh, you glorious magic twig. You're real! Anything I wish for, you'll make happen. And now, Scooter's gone, so I can enjoy it all alone. No, this is wonderful! I wish that little doofus Scooter could see me now! No, I mean, I mean, I wish Scooter was... There you are! I was looking all over for you. No! I didn't mean that last wish. I please just make Scooter gone! So, did you miss me? I got stuck to a tree slug and wandered all around looking for you. I had time to rethink Bab's hairdryer. Here, try it out. Here we go! Isn't this great? 